Hi, I'm Ron Paul. Can we continue in designing the awesome rolling toolbox? We are in part 11, and this is the eighth part of designing in SketchUp. Before I get into that, just a reminder to all to subscribe to my channel. This is what you'll have access to, to close to 80 videos and adding all the time. And also you'll have the playlist. So if you want to follow through, say with building the awesome rolling toolbox or building the total station, you can just click into these playlists and, and watch, watch away. All right, and also remember to share it uh, on your social media and also with your friends. I really do appreciate that. Okay, so the last time we were in SketchUp, I designed, uh, detailed out this cabinet. And I had a comment from Adam that was there a way to make it so these drawers could all be uniform. And you remember that the top drawer and the bottom drawer were slightly shorter. And so the comment from Adam was to put the spreaders on the outside, on the top and on the bottom. And, and I could certainly do that, but there is a, a different way to do it so that I can make the dados all uniform. So what I'm going to do is take a copy of the cabinet we made yesterday, move key, option, copy. Okay, so I made a copy of that cabinet and this is just to get dimensions. We're not going to use any parts of it. So I created this rectangle that I'll use to uh, build the blocking that we need. And the first thing I want to do is make it a uniform height. Um, at this time, it is three and three quarters. So I'm going to go ahead and make it three foot four by clicking on the top line and hitting the M key for move and just go up and type in 0.25 enter. Okay, so now I'm three foot four. Push pull, come across to there. And now I can get rid of this cabinet. All right, so based on just like uh, the last video, we're gonna build the cabinet from scratch, but I'm just gonna show you the way that I would do it differently. Everything else I did in the last video applies, so I'm not gonna rebuild the whole cabinet. I'm just gonna show you how to change the layout so that it's uniform from top to bottom. Double click, right click, group, get into the group. Push pull, 0.75, enter. Okay, and now what I want to do is put some guidelines. So I'll take my tape measure tool. Now for the top, I'm going to come down three quarters and that will be for the spreaders that take up the top three quarters of the cabinet. The bottom, we have the three quarter spreaders plus a quarter of an inch, we hold the data up. So I'm gonna put one inch there. And that gives me my usable space inside the cabinet. And now I know I want the dado to be a half an inch. I also know that I want the circle to be center of it, 1.25 inches in. And now I will get into the group, get into the surface, rectangle tool by tapping the R key. Come in with the C key for circle, click right there, come up. Half of the diameter, which is a quarter of an inch. Delete the unnecessary lines. And now I have the same data that we made yesterday. Now what I want to do is I want to have an even spacing. Whatever the spacing is, I want it to be even so all the drawers can be the same size or a multiple of the same size. So I will highlight the data and I'm going to hit the M key for move, the option key for copy. And um, this one, you're gonna have one extra on this layout. Instead of doing, I'm gonna go right to flush it up with the bottom edge there of that three quarter inch piece. So you can see, click there. Now, without doing anything else, I'm gonna hit divide nine, enter. All right, what that did was that evenly spaced the dados. I don't know what the spacing is, I'll check in a minute. It's given me one extra, this top one. You have to do that when you're, um, when you're dividing the space. So I will come in and get rid of these lines. Now if I check the spacing on these with the dimension tool, so from 
Again, I'll, the drawers will all be a half an inch shorter than this, but I'm just checking the overall dimension. It'll be to the bottom of the dado. So I'm four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. And check the bottom one. Four and a quarter. So now the top drawer, the bottom drawer, will all be the same height. So I won't need, that'll save some time in designing the drawers. Now there's one other thing you need to do when you're going to use a modular system like this. What I'll need to do is make this cabinet a multiple. It'll, it'll need to stop one inch below any one of these. So if I take my rectangle tool and I grab one of these, double click, make a group, then I move this over, put it right on the top there, now I don't need this anymore. And you can see that it needs to be one inch below this particular dado. So if I take my tape measure tool and I click there and I go one, enter, it just happens to fall exactly to where it needs to be. If it were not the case, if the, if the line were a little further down, then I would just go into the group grab that line, move, come down, and then it would be the right height. thing. It was already, so I'm gonna hit Command Z, back that up. Now I can come into this one and do the exact same layout. Uh, just a quick one today to show you a way to do the layout and to make your cabinets all modular. And we can just check the height of this one. This one is going to be one foot 11 inches. And any of the other cabinets, uh, whether they're taller or whether they're shorter, as long as I make it from the top edge of here to one inch below any one of these dados, everything will be modular and all of the drawers can be the same height. Okay, so this was just a quick update, a little refinement to the last video we did. Thanks for taking the time to watch and have a great day.